Hey Nail Fam, I hope that you are well. I wanted to share this cute PR package that I received from this brand called Shop Leisha. I am now an, a brand ambassador for this brand and I already did an unboxing on Instagram so I kind of already know what's in this uh, box and I've already applied these half cover no see curve square tips to my nails as well. I kind of like the box as well because everything seems to be divided and I've kind of never seen a box like this so uh extra little touch and care went into this package it's the box smells really nice as well so everything is uh complimentary of their ceo collection that they have just recently launched so we got some money sign charms in there we have a beautiful glitter mix um there is a mix of white and pink hollow stars some hexagons inside there and some fine glitter absolutely beautiful and then this is the little CEO collection card that she included with all of her box with a little background of money, pink money in the background, and then CEO, a girl boss who runs things. So um, I really love when small brands and small businesses put that little extra touch um, to their packaging. It just makes the unboxing experience so much more fun. All right, so included with this PR package alongside those charms and half cover tips that I've shown you, she's sent me four acrylic powders and also a rubber base coat, which is absolutely beautiful. And then we have some nail art stickers as well. And then at the bottom of the box, I found like this $100 sign. And then there's a little card in here just to say welcome to the team as a brand ambassador. And then there's a little $100. Um, this is not real. I, I almost missed it. You can see that it's, you know, it's not real. If you wanted to do some money nails, which I always wanted to do, I now have some money. So here is an up close look at that rubber base gel. The color looks absolutely beautiful. You guys know that I'm really loving nudes lately. So I can't wait to try this nude rubber base gel out. Absolutely gorgeous color. And I think this would look really nice on any complexion. All right. Um, and then... I'm going to uh, swatch these acrylics on camera for you so you can see the consistency, but let's take a quick peek at all of the stickers that you've sent me. So we have some Prada, some designer stickers. We have some neon, is it English letters, I think? Um, we also have some Gucci stickers here and then also some another, another set of neon uh, English letters or Roman letters or whatever you guys call them. Now let's move to the star of the show, which is these acrylic powders. And you guys know that I have been practicing my acrylic application for quite some time. Each acrylic I find has been different in terms of the consistency, which is really cool. And these ones was definitely a different consistency. Um, and I had to, I learned how to use this acrylic pretty well. Everything was trial and error. So I'm just showing you the colors and then we're going to get into the quick swatches. Also, I do have a discount code for this brand. I will have it linked down in the description box. Alrighty, so I have my monomer here from Model Ones and I do have my Melody Susie Galinsky brush in the size 10. I have a little uh, jam jar that I like to pour my monomer in. I like to recycle products. Um, I should probably get a dampened dish, but I, I like my jars because I can close them back up so that the scent doesn't, you know, kind of kill the house. Anywho, I have my little short square swatch sticks here. I'm going to go ahead and dip my Melody Susie Kalinsky brush into my Model 1's monomer. And then I will go ahead and swatch each color. 
Um, it is recommended that when you are using acrylic powders, you should use the monomer for the brand. So I don't yet have a monomer from uh, Shop Leisha, and uh, eventually I will order one so that I can be able to use all the products together. But for now, let me tell you, these were laying down one bead smoothly. I had no issues picking it up. Obviously, I do have a better brush and I've been practicing just a little bit. So here you guys, you can see the consistency of this product. Really beginner friendly, really beginner friendly, especially for folks like me that kind of struggle with how to lay down the beads. Um, I really, really enjoyed uh, practicing with these acrylics. All right, so now let's practice laying down my acrylic beads. You guys have gave me so much good advice. One of the comments that I see keep coming up was hold my finger down and I wasn't doing that properly. So here I'm trying to hold my finger down and you guys said to allow the monomer and the acrylic to kind of polymerize and let them flow down and do its own thing. And that has been the best tip I have ever listened to in my entire acrylic application life that has been i i literally i was like what that's all i needed to do just hold my finger down properly and just let the acrylic run let the bead run and do its own thing it's gonna level out itself and everything i my mind was just blown away with this set i just i it made everything so much easier i was not fighting the acrylic um i did have to get used to the consistency this was very much um pudding it was like acrylic pudding it wasn't it, it was buttery but it had like a jelliness to it i can't really explain it because the more you mess with it the more you kind of mess it up so the best thing to do is get get it onto the nail let it flow the way it wants to lightly and gently pat this acrylic and you will have minimal shaping to do because it just does its own thing so shout out to everyone that leaves comments on my videos i listen to you guys and this application i feel personally has been one of the best ones that i've done
So right now I wanted to add a little marble to the tip of this nail. So I'm just gonna grab the other acrylic powders and we're just gonna dip into those, put some tiny little beads onto the nail on top of each other and then try to swirl it around to create a marble effect. This is my first time really trying to do a marble on a nail. So it's not perfect, but for a first time where I think it turned out pretty okay. All right, so this finger I feel is okay for the minute. We're gonna leave this alone for now. I am going to clear cap all of these nails in the end anyway to try to build up that um, the thickness of the nails and kind of smooth out any, you know, in in inconsistencies. I think that's the word I'm trying to look for. Anyway, let's move on to the middle finger. And for the middle finger, I am gonna go in with the purple acrylic. And I personally love purple. And of all of the acrylics that I have here, I absolutely loved this one the best. I felt like I did this nail the best. The apex was kind of okay. Um, the sidewalls were okay. There was the the tip of the nail was not too th too thick. So yeah, definitely I loved this one. All right, let's move on to my ring finger. Um, for this one, I'm just going in with a really wet brush <clears throat> and I'm dipping into each of the acrylic colors, putting the beads on top of each other and I'm gonna swirl these around onto this nail. Um, I'm gonna try to do a marble on 80% of the nail and then I'll go in with that light pink acrylic to the, to the cuticle part of the nail and ombre it down. Okay, so here's how the nails are looking so far and the cuticle guys, you know that I really struggled with my cuticle area and I felt like these ones are definitely an improvement. Um, and I did go ahead and add the glitter with some clear acrylic onto the ring finger as well as the thumb. Off camera, I do go in and file with my 80 100 uh, 
file, nail file. And then I use a sanding band with my Melody Susie rechargeable drill to try to file it up. Uh, the shaping is not a hundred percent, but it is, you know, it is what it is. I'm a beginner, so I still got some ways to go. So now that I'm satisfied with how the shaping and the sidewalls and all that filing and stuff is done, I'm now just going to finish off this nail set. Uh, I end up using this glitter top coat from Born Pretty some butterflies some flowers um some rhinestones and then this super top coat from credio was absolutely the icing on the cake it just smoothed out this nail so well um, and it just made the look the, the look of the nail just come together magically all right i'm using this this glitter this reflective glitter born pretty top coat because it has the reflective glitter in it and i just wanted to add just a hint of glitter as a backdrop to the stars you know like the stars they should leave like a trail of you know glitter behind them anyway i'm going to finish these nails off um let you enjoy the rest of this video because there's not much more to go uh, this was a pretty straightforward nail design. Again, I'm really proud with myself for listening to you guys, holding those fingers down. I am definitely looking forward to more practice with uh, acrylic uh, acrylic powders, all right? Thank you guys for watching my video. Finish, enjoy it. Give me a like, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this nail set. And don't forget if you are interested in any products from Shop Leisha, I have a discount code down in the description box. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.